Welcome back to Point of View. So one way that we can enjoy rich, sugary, fatty foods without actually gaining any weight or affecting your health is to just look at pictures of it. Not quite as satisfying, but still very, very popular. And those of us with smartphones have probably all done this, taking pictures of our food and posting them on social media. Uh, it's spawned the terms food porn and foodstagram, and there are hundreds of blogs and Instagram accounts dedicated to all this kind of food. So guys, guilty guilty of food porn yes yep. producing it <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I do that I go home and I take pictures of the good food at home and send it back to my friends <laughs> yeah. I take a lot of pictures of good food so that I can pretend to the public that I'm eating well um, so it's on my social media and Instagram pages and I'm actually stuffing you know the wrong type of food um, but I love it yeah. I love looking at food I love eating food yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you find your um, customers at um, the Village Kitchen at Wellness? <coughs> well, I market on social media, yeah. take pictures of our um, local village food. Uh, our Village Kitchen, uh, we sell locally f uh, uh, cooked food, uh, all local ingredients. We do mumu, traditional mumu with stones, the island style mumu. I mumu wild pigs. Oh, wow. I get wild pig from my uh, hunters and uh, deer, wild deer. Um, you know, because I believe in paleo. Paleo is uh, uh, free range, you know, animals that are raised in, raised in free range farms or wild, wild animals. They're free from chemicals, you know. Yes. Uh, all these um, commercial farms, they want to you know, grow the chicken very fast. They inject growth hormones and, mm -hmm. you know, antibiotics into their diet. So all these commercially farmed uh, animals are very toxic, yeah. very toxic. The growth hormones get into our system and cause big damage, uh, to especially yeah. our little children growing up on this kind of food. So paleo is very healthy. And um, uh, there's another diet called ketogenic diet. It's healing diet. There's no inflammation. Uh, people who have weight issues, very good to lose weight and get healing as well. And so you feel, you don't feel any joint pains if you eat ketogenic diet. That's high in fat. It's like 80% 80, 80 fat, 15% protein and 5% carbohydrates. Ketogenic is the latest diet now. Amazing. So I think we're going to have to get you on again just to do a whole yes. episode on diets because we've run out of time right now. Just very quickly, <laughs> lots of viewers would be interested in that. Very quickly, uh, it's a final say from each of you. I'll start with you, Cleopatra. What's your final say? Yes, lots of my friend and friends and I, we hang out, take pictures of food, eat junk, chocolate, mm -hmm. ice cream. But you know, as Jamie said, you know, once he was a leader and he had to take time back and, you know, focus on his health. Now, if we are to, you know, we are the generation, the young generation that is coming up. And if we have to lead, we need a, you know, right state of mind. We need to be healthy. If you're sick, you can't be doing right decisions. So it comes back to eating healthy as a nation. Yeah, that's what I think. Philly. Um, I'd like to appeal to my family. Uh, big bone is not a reason or an excuse. We're actually fat. So we need to cut down the sugar. Your health is your wealth. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah, well, it's a national disaster to, to have this uh, epidemic of lifestyle diseases. It'll cripple the economy, cripple the country. We, we need a healthy population. So we need to look at this uh, epidemic caused by processed food. Yeah. And it all begins with you and what you put into your mouths. And that wraps up another episode of Point of View. I'd like to thank Philly and Cleo for their points of view today. And of course, to our special guests, Mr. Jamie Maxton Graham, thank you so much for coming in and joining us. Our first man on the show for Point of View. So <laughs> we're really honored that you could join us today. Thank you. And if you have a Point of View and you'd like to share it with us, find us on Facebook. Send us your ideas for topics to discuss on the show or just say hi, because we would love to hear from you. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>